there in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about the concept of virtual local area network VLAN so what is the requirement of VLAN why we need a VLAN uh, basically VLAN is a virtual local area network you can um, by the definition you can understand the theory that for example uh, if this is a switch this switch is uh, uh, having a PCs out there uh, and this network has some IP address for example 192.168.1.1 uh, uh, these having a gateway uh, or range on this now for example uh, if you have same switch uh, infrastructure wise if you have only one switch if you have separate switch we can very easily divide those uh, mappers uh, with each other for example uh, again you buy another switch but if you only have one switch for example if you only have one switch then you can divide the network in that particular switch only what exactly going to do the theory will be same uh, the theory will be same F one network PC will have for example a range of 192.168.2.1 and one will we have 192.168.1.1 so the range will be different the PCs will be have uh, uh, different range and will not able to communicate with each other. For example, so this is the case of account. This is the case of sales. And uh, we can divide network in the same switch, so that infrastructure wise, not only we not require another switch to purchase, but at the same switch we can uh, uh, have a number of PCs which can communicate with each other and that's the coolest thing of this VLAN concept we can create VLAN and divide VLAN by default all switches uh, have a uh, by default VLANs and uh, some five uh, by default VLANs one the first VLAN will be the VLAN which help our switches to communicate with each other but uh, manual uh, VLANs will start with values 2, 3 it's up to you we can give a value but starts from 2 logically we can start with at from 2 now what is the required to create VLAN uh, main thing is their infrastructure I mean you know requires to uh, purchase as many as switches as you want to for example because of a switch having a 24 ports and if you want to divide uh, 10 uh, or wants to divide 20 PCs in two networks then what is the requirement to buy another switch why not to uh, uh, create a VLAN and divide that uh, in a separate network so 24 ports are, are good enough so to just divide that now another big advantage of uh, of uh, creating vlan is to, uh, in the layer two you can reduce broadcast traffic broadcast and it it, it help us to cut the broadcast domain so uh, a, a broadcast of a domain so either reduce the traffic broadcast traffic or cut the uh, broadcasting of the domain so for example if uh, 24 pieces start communicating with each other then will probably you will face a, a huge uh, speed loss even in the local network not not in the in the band not in the pro pu public network but even in the local network you find a huge speed uh, discretion because what exactly happens that 24 pieces tries to uh, sending or tries to exchanging the packets and that 
uh, you will find the huge traffic uh, probably it will be a clear cut case of, uh, of uh, traffic management so VLAN will be help you to device too now what exactly you used to do is the VLAN is uh, help you to uh, uh, configure or help you in the later two switches now since this is done in switches because router uh, the later two devices have their own way of, of communication they they uh, have their own way of broadcasting so it's not because they have the separate interfaces to to broadcast uh, so generally we require vlan on switches because switches are are basically not made for the heavy nappers who are not made for the uh, big nappers uh, uh, are not made for the big traffic so, so hence vlan is very easily uh, help us a lot you can uh, divide the same network on two way for example 196.3.0 you can divide it in a two way or you can add two networks in a same switch so that whenever uh, PC tries to uh, ping with another PC uh, or require PC you can able to uh, the traffic will never increase I hope you learned something about VLAN virtual local area network about the uh, traffics we we are discussing about and in the next tutorial we will uh, learn uh, and we will uh, learn to configure it uh, we learn to configure uh, the VLAN so I hope you learned something from this video thanks for watching